I'm not going to talk too much about gang stalking, but what I would like to talk about how as a victim I'm dealing with it and I want to know how you guys are dealing with it. I think, you know, it's important for us to know the technology, their, what they're doing to us and let the world hear them. But it's also important for us to put ourselves first. I think that's how they are able, part of their psychology is always wanting us to put them first. But when we put ourselves first, it sort of makes them less important. And I think that's what we we have to do. We have to make them less important than ourselves. So I want to tell you guys, you know, my hair is getting so dry from this technology. I'm sleeping under a lot of like boxes that I made to kind of keep the sound out. And in a video you see, I have like this, this cardboard is helping hold up this, which has, um, this is poster board, paper and aluminum foil. So when I first started doing the videos, you could actually hear every tap. So this is how it sounds when I tap it, you would hear this, but when their technology goes on, you can hear it hitting that and it sounds different. It also means that the, the sounds that they were putting, instead of being really close to my ears and sounding like it's in my head, it sounds not in my head, like it sounds somewhere else. So that's a big deal that happened between what I'm, how I'm sleeping, putting the ice on. I haven't put the ice on in a few days because it really makes me feel dizzy because the swelling goes down and I feel dizzy. So I haven't done that in a while. But I also want to ask you guys, you know, my hair gets really dry. I've been using the um, castor oil, but I still feel like my hair is drier. So I haven't been washing it as much. I'm going to wash it soon. And when I wash it, I'll show you. So I want to know, what are you guys doing for your hair treatments? What are you guys doing just to make sure you don't go nuts? What are you guys doing? Um, I told you guys I uploaded a video for Survey Monkey. By the time you see this video, you'll see the next video after it. So really, I want to know, what? Are, how are you guys dealing with this? How, you know, taking care of yourselves, taking care of the things you have to take care of so that you don't focus too much on them and, and, and not making them the first thing that we do. Like they would want this to be the first thing that I do every day, all day. I can't, I just, you know, I can't, I can't do it. The other thing is I'm wondering how the voices and the sounds and the noise you hear where you are, are you still recording it or how are you recording it? Or, you know, what technology are you using to record it? What are you doing? Like, just how are you doing? Like, how are you? I'm going to title this video. How are you? I'm feeling better. I feel like, you know, the more the, 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 the news is getting out of the different scams and schemes that they've been using on people, the better I feel. The more we understand the psychology of these types of people where they really do want us to focus on them more than ourselves. And how easy, I told you guys in a very early video, I won't find it because I have like a thousand plus videos. It's too hard for me. <laughs> it's too hard for me to find everything. But I said in an early video how I fell for a lot of their schemes and scams. And I think that's important because as they're talking and they think that they know me more than me, I have proof. You know, I'm, I'm, I'm all about now showing receipts. I have to with these types of people. You know, like I said, they, they keep going over the same thing over and over and over and over again. And I would be so focused on them that I wouldn't care about me. And that is their psychology. It takes a certain type of personality to think that you should care more about them than yourself. Like, I really don't even get that. Like, I would never think that someone should care more about me than themselves. I, I wouldn't even want that type of person. That's, I, oh, okay. Every so often there's like a that moment where, like, I told you guys a light bulb moment. I used to reach behind me and grab the little jar with the light that kind of looks like a light bulb. I'm not going to do that now, but that's a light bulb moment. What type of person would want anyone to put them before themselves? Who does that? Like who, what kind of person does that? Where you would think, oh, I can't take care of me. Like I, my life is falling apart, but let me focus on you. That's a certain type of person. I think most of us, to be honest, we wouldn't want somebody whose life is falling apart to begin with. So we would want that person like, you, you know, take care of what you have to take care of. You take care of your, <laughs> you know, you take care of what you have.